Requirements for a good design. I harp on this all the time. Define the problem. You and your hydraulic unit designed for 300 barrels? Oh, sorry, it only makes 40. How much and how deep? I gotta know. <laughs> So, so, sometimes we listen to the geologists and geophysics and they've never spotted a well in the bad spot. How much and how deep? Interesting thing we're doing now with this wolfberry stuff. That's two different wells. I know it's the same well bore path, but we got a design for 300 barrels for the first three months or 400 barrels. Then we're going to go deeper by another 2,000 feet and cut production in half. That's two different wells. Consider the decline curve. I, when I worked for Lufkin, I used to keep this design in the bottom of my right-hand drawer. And guys would come in and say, I've got this well. How deep are you? Well, I'm 6,000 feet. How much fluid do you need to move? As much as I can. Ugh. Lufkin makes a 3648 pumping unit with a 300 inch stroke and a 250 horsepower motor and I can run a four and three quarter bore casing pump. It makes 6,000 barrels. Well, the well won't give up that much. Well, you just told me you want to make as much as possible. This is what you need. How much will the well give up? When? <laughs> you got to consider the decline curve. You might be better off to drop one or two units and delay that production for six weeks or two months and let the decline curve catch up with you later on. Here's a Wolfberry example. 125 barrels of fluid a day long term from 9,500 feet. When I first start out, I want 300 barrels a day short term from 7,800 feet. I'm going to sit high, I'm going to pump it hard, get the frack back, get the solids back, get the well cleaned up, then I'm going deeper. I'm going to pick a 228, 246, 86 unit, inch and a quarter pump, 10 strokes per minute. That's from 9,500 feet. That's where I'm going to be long term year after year after year. That's pumped off. There's that permissible load diagram. 